Hey foodies, thanks for watching. I'm gonna show you how to make a gluten-free graham cracker so we can make some s'mores and have some wonderful things. This cracker also makes a wonderful um, base for cream cheese, uh, cakes, and all kinds of things like that. So, let's get started. We wanna start by mixing all of our dry ingredients and our sugars. Salt, baking powder, baking soda, cinnamon. Okay, and we're gonna put it all in here and we're gonna stir it up. Okay, so that's all mixed up. We're gonna add all of our wet ingredients now. I need a little spatula for this. Oh, look at that honey. It looks beautiful, that honey. And the milk. And the butter. Molasses. And our egg. Okay, so I'm gonna mix all of that up. And it's gonna make a nice dry dough. Okay, I'm gonna scrape down the sides a little bit. Just make sure it's all incorporated. Scrape up the bottom a little bit and give it another stir. Okay, so that's the dough mixed up. Easy peasy. So we're gonna pull this out, Just scrape off my paddle. It smells like graham crackers. It's really neat. Okay, so there's my dough. Looks and feels so good. Okay, so I'm gonna cut this in half and use half of it. The other half in there. And I am going to lightly dust my counter. We're gonna roll this out. Oh, look at that. It looks beautiful. So you want to take the dough to about a quarter inch thickness, which is what I've got. Now, at this point, you want to divide it into cracker sizes. So I'm going to start by taking my knife and just squaring off some edges so I don't have some odd shaped crackers. And you're going to want to um, slice these into an even shape. So you can use your knife or you can take a divider like I've got and we can set it to the right width that we want. Just going to be about that and we're just going to run down, just get rid of any extra and then we're going to go down this way. that. Okay, next, where did I put my fork? Next you can take a fork and you can pierce these just to give it the, uh, the classic look. Or you can take a docker like I've got and you just run it along. Oops. The edge.
And then finally, to give it that classic look, I'm not gonna go all the way through, I'm just gonna indent a little bit the cracker. Oops, that one's a bit crooked. And we're gonna go this way as well. Look at that, that looks wonderful. Okay, get rid of those little bits. So now, I'm gonna slide these onto a parchment paper lined cookie sheet with a little bit of spacing in between each and I'm gonna bake them. So we'll just get through all of this and then we'll put them in the oven. Okay, so I've got almost two full trays here. I'm gonna bake these in the oven between 10 and 14 minutes. I want them to be a little bit crispy, but they're gonna crisp up as they cool. We'll see you in a minute. Oh, look at these, the color on them are perfect. I mean, these were in for 12 minutes. Oh, they, they smell so good. They, they've got that little bit of, wonderful flavor. I love the little marks that I put on them. It's great. So you can eat these on their own, which is totally doable. And I'm going to break up one. Mm. I'm so excited about this. It's so good. You can see all the air inside the, the cracker. It's so nice. But the thing I find with graham crackers is you need to jazz it up a bit. So I'm gonna jazz it up a bit. Let's make a s'more. So I'm gonna take my plate and I'm gonna take one of my crackers and I'm gonna take some chocolate. Let's see, maybe two pieces? Yeah, two pieces should do. And a marshmallow. <laughs> and you have to have a around a campfire so oops I've got my campfire here and I'm just gonna warm everything up okay and then we're gonna take another one and squish it on top and hope I've warmed up my marshmallow enough. I don't think I have, but oh, it's oozing now. Now, for the moment of truth. Mmm. Mmm. I can't wait for you to try making gluten-free graham crackers to make your very own homemade s'mores that you can enjoy in the backyard or camping. Thanks for watching. I look forward to reading all of your comments below. Have a great day.